removed my client's shoes and I noticed that there's some scaling. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a towel that I have fully submerged into the Poto Expert foot soak. So I put a towel in my hot warmer, feel to see, make sure the temperature is appropriate. I'm going to clean my client's foot as well as in between the toes, just to really kind of knock off those dead skin cells. As we get older, it just becomes a little more difficult to bend over. So this is just part of just helping with the overall care of my client's foot today. So I am gonna be doing a dry pedicure today. However, I'm not concerned with the towel and adding a lot of moisture. What I'm just using the towel for is to just clean the feet. We're gonna spend a majority of our time on the toes. His skin looks really great, it's all intact. I saw this little mark right here, which my model told me was from, this little kind of like blood blister right here is from the shoelaces being tucked into his shoe, so I'm gonna make sure to avoid that. Also looking at the bottom of the feet to see what story they could be telling me. I am not a medical professional. The last thing I'm gonna do is tell him if there is any condition. I'm just gonna provide feedback. I am not a medical professional, but if I notice that there might be some redness or some sores, that's when I'm just gonna make him aware and suggest that he sees a podiatrist. I'm never gonna say, I think this is, because I'm just setting myself up for trouble, staying in my lane. Okay, now that I have washed the foot, I'm still gonna take my foot and shoe deodorant and spray the foot. Anytime during the service, if you're getting a whiff of unpleasant odor, just grab your foot and shoe deodorant and just spray the foot, okay? So in a scenario like this, we're going to try to use as much cutting versus grinding because we don't want all those airborne particles. So I'm gonna use my 16 millimeter Boss Lady nippers. It's hard to tell when the nail is this crumbly how far to go. So I'm gonna err on the side of caution. A lot of it is detached. So I'm gonna start right here and just start actually nipping at the toenail. Okay, so normally I would be putting my finger right on top so I don't have any chunks of toenail falling, but I want you guys to be able to see what I'm doing and just take small controlled bites. Okay, that way you're in control and the nail is just gonna continue to crumble. So this is actually a good time to wear safety glasses as well as a mask. Hey, you don't wanna be inhaling this. And luckily these chunks are larger. And this is where you have to be careful in here is to make sure that we're not cutting that hyponychium. Does that feel okay? Is that ticklish? Okay. So with the hyponychium, it's just skin right underneath the nail bed. And if you accidentally nip it, it will bleed like a lot. So we want to be very conscientious of that because as the toenails start to change and form, that nail bed is also changing as well, right? So the nail plate might start to look like involuted. You might have something like this that's starting to look kind of trumpety, is that the nail bed is also being, it's growing with the nail, right? Because the nail plate, the nail bed is underneath the nail plate. So because of that, we just have to be conscientious to make sure that we are not cutting our client. So less is more. And if you feel like you're getting a little bit close and you're not sure, you can always just kind of take your nippers and just kind of do a, a gradual bite and just say, how does this feel? How's that feel? You can't feel it. Okay, so then I know that we're good to keep going, right? You might be curious of why somebody's nails start to turn like this. Well, shoes have a big factor in that. So when you constantly have constant pressure, depending on what that the shape of the shoe is, your feet are just all pushed together, okay? So when you're working on toenails like this, it's really important to make sure that you're working with a rolly chair. It makes it a lot more easier to get around the toes quickly. And I like having my client up so I can keep my back as straight as possible. So when you start getting hunched over or working from the side, that's when your job it just becomes really difficult. So you're gonna cut as much as you can. And remember, toenails like this don't happen overnight. So do what you feel comfortable with in removing, okay? Try to remove as much as you can with your nippers and then jump into using an e-file. You're gonna have a lot more airborne particles when you're using an e-file. 
Now, at this time, too, I did not put a mask on and I did not have any eye protection. So make sure you also have that on as well. Super important to protect yourself. Okay. So this is what I have down to. This is what you want to be really careful of. Right there, that little piece. And you can see how this toenail was rubbing into the side. So now we're going to go in and we're actually going to start to debulk. So the best bit for that is our tapered pedicure carbide bit. I'm going to run it at high RPMs and I'm just going to start to thin down this thick toenail. So with carbide, we work in one direction. I'm not running the bit back and forth. Carbide is not meant to be rocked back and forth. So the toenail is going just to start to crumble. And it's normal to see our elderly clients with thicker toenails. This is super common. And the reason for that is as we get older, our bodies, the circulation is, our circulation to our toes isn't as fluid. So that means that the keratin cells build up and they get thicker because they are not growing as quickly. So I'm just doing some dragging method and thinning down this toenail and you can just see it crumble. So when I'm working on my guests, I would use a vacuum system because we are recording today. It makes it difficult to be able to talk, but very important that you're not breathing in these airborne particles. Protecting yourself and your guests are extremely important. How's that feel? Is anything digging in there? Right there. I can tell you used to have ingrown toenails. How about here? How does that feel? Okay. Well, be careful not to get the skin as we're working with carbide at high RPMs. So you really want to keep that barrel right on top of the thickness. So because my client I know in the past has struggled with involuted and ingrown toenails, I'm just thinning down this lateral fold for him. He tends to wear shoes all day long except for when he's sleeping, so I just want to make sure I'm thinning that out so that there's no poking or discomfort. Now some people would call this a wellness pedicure, others would call this a pedicare, C-A-R-E, where you're really caring for the feet. It's not just an aesthetics where you're more about focused on the care of the feet and the health versus just a, a fluff and buff or pretty polish. Like we really want to get his feet feeling and looking good and then providing that care you know now that it's been brought to our attention it'll be way less work when he comes back okay then i turn my e-file in the reverse direction and i'm going to do the same thing on the right side you know i'm just grinding down that nail so that there's no discomfort everything feel okay okay I like using the unicorn because it's rounded I don't want to use anything that's too pointy because the skin here is really really thin and I don't want to tear so if you feel like you're pulling the skin increase your rpms but just be very very gentle okay especially on our diabetics and our elderly care it just takes a lot longer for sores infections or anything on the feet to heal from. So we're just gonna offer a lot of care to make sure that we do a nice job. I'm gonna take my excavator, my Erica's excavator, get right in there in that lateral fold, do some cleanup, but also make sure I don't have any toenail that's digging into his skin. So just be careful. That smooth edge is going to drag across the skin and we're just cleaning up that lateral fold, okay? And the only thing I've put on the foot so far is alcohol, just to remove the dust. My Poto Expert shoe and foot deodorant. It's definitely worth taking a minute or two to just clean out just that impacted dead skin cells. Usually your client can feel the relief right away. 
it also gives me a little idea too of like oh could have i cut this a little farther how close are we to that hypernychia I don't put any softener on the toenails because they're just really crumbly and moist anyways. Okay. Yeah, so how a softener works is it uses urea and it's just gonna keep the toenail, like it releasing those dead skin cells so it continues to crumble. Just softening all this. Now as it grows out, the, the nail plate is gonna kinda like splinter and it's gonna become rough. So I had a good friend tell me that there's really no healing elements to Vaseline, but so that it doesn't catch the socks. Some people like putting that right on the toenails but you never wanna put that in between your toes or on the bottom of your feet because it's occlusive. And that means our feet won't be able to sweat and do what they've naturally been created to do. We don't wanna block that up because if our feet are trying to sweat and it can't get through, what's gonna happen is the skin is gonna to start to break down, which can then lead to infection. Yeah, I took a majority of the bulk off with my Boss Lady nippers. Then I went in with my carbide because that accelerates the process. Carbide at high speed. And now I'm just like refining it and smoothing it down with, with a diamond long and lean. I totally love this bit. I think it's probably my all time favorite bit for toes. Honestly, in this case, I could have used the medium or the coarse. This is just what I had available. Probably looking back at it, I would have got the course out because it would have just increased um, my, it would have just made my service time quicker. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look. And he's ticklish. I'm really happy with how these toenails turned out. How do they feel? You feel pretty? They feel good. They feel, good? Yeah. They feel great? great? Great. Are we going to dance out of here? All right, that's what I like to hear. So we're gonna dance on out of here, but let's go ahead and recap really quickly what I did. First thing I did is I cleansed and exfoliated the foot to help just clean it and to remove some of those dead skin cells. It's a lot harder for our elderly to get down there and to really clean their feet, so why not do it? Then I took my Boss Lady nippers, cut down as much length as I felt comfortable, then I jumped in with my carbide pedicure bit and took down the bulk. After that, I know that he has struggled with some ingrown toenails, so I took took my unicorn and got in there and really just cleaned out the lateral fold and did some detail cleanup work because I just love cuticle work. I finished the service with my long and lean. It could have used medium or coarse. I had a medium on clean, so at about 13,000 RPMs, I just softened all of the toenails so that I didn't have that raw edge that the carbide had created. Did a little bit of shaping with my hand file, but really when you're working at that kind of RPMs with your long and lean, you can use the top of that bit just to kind of do any last minute shaping. So at this point, it's just going to be maintenance. I'm going to talk to my model and say, hey, why don't you come back in eight weeks and we will just see what your growth is and we'll continue just to kind of flatten out your toenails and to make sure that your feet are always feeling so good and looking so pretty. We want dancing feet. I'm going to recommend Poto Expert, especially right here for the nails as they grow out. So the tincture is going to be the takeaway product. It has a nice projectory spray. So even if your client has a hard time when they're sitting there on the toilet, they can just take the spray and spray it and it will get there. They use their feet and just just like that. It's real easy. This is one of the greatest tools that they can use for just keeping their feet healthy and safe, right? We don't wanna have any kind of lesions cut. We wanna make sure that moisture stays inside the foot. What I love about Poto Expert, so many things, diabetic friendly, all the products are FDA cleared and because of that, I can safely and responsibly offer any of them to my client. So for him, I'm gonna do a nail tincture and if he feels up for a little bit of foam, I'm going to recommend the dry red because I saw some of the scales. That's it.
Easy peasy. Thank you guys so much. Hope you enjoyed today. Go ahead, like, and subscribe.